What's up y'all, it's your boy Lewis. Welcome and a welcome back to my channel. As y'all can tell by the title of this video, y'all we are about to get a couple things done so we can glow up. Like lately, I have just not been feeling like myself, honestly. I'm not gonna say that I've been feeling insecure, but I haven't been feeling like myself. And I have been talking about getting my teeth done for the longest. And uh, I showed y'all even in my last vlog when I went to go to New York to get my teeth done, but they wanted $40,000, which was way too much out of the budget. Today, we made it, we found a doctor. They're out in Miami and my flight leaves tomorrow morning at like 8.30, that's when I board my plane. I'm about to get ready because I did not pack anything yet. So I sort of have an idea of what I wanna bring with me. Honestly, I'm not gonna be bringing any like fits or anything down there because I'm gonna be in a hotel literally every day. I don't have any plans to go anywhere. Like the beach is like 30 minutes away from where I'm staying. So I'm just really packing sweats. And y'all know I'm so organized. I mean, my closet is not even organized right now, but for the most part, I'm so organized and I like everything put together like super cute. So yeah, that's what we got going on now. I'm about to put these sweatpants on. Honestly, I'm probably gonna sleep in these sweatpants tonight because like I said, my flight, I'm getting up at like five o'clock in the morning. So it's giving just gonna roll out of bed, put a t-shirt on, put a hoodie on, put my AirPods on, and we're out the door on our way to the airport. But I got this Carhartt book bag and I don't wanna bring a luggage because I was gonna bring this one little suitcase back here, but I'm flying Frontier and they're trying to charge me like $140 for an extra bag, for a carry-on bag, and I don't wanna pay all of that. So we're about to be cheap and fit everything inside of this book bag. Okay, so this is what I'm bringing. We got some pajamas, t-shirt. I'm gonna put one of these on tomorrow. Then I got another one for Friday for my appointment. I'm gonna wear this sweatsuit to my appointment and back home. And then I'm gonna wear this hoodie tomorrow. And I just need like two more, well, one more underclothes for me to like shower and stuff in. And uh, that's it. Like I said, I'm gonna be pretty numbed up and everything like that the whole time while I'm down there for real, for real. So I'm probably not even gonna be eating for real, for real. I know there's like a smoothie king down the street from where I'll be staying at. So I'll probably just get like Smoothie King and just chill in the apartment, I mean, in the hotel. And I'm gonna just be working on this content so that way I can put this video out by Saturday because I'm coming back home Friday night. I need this video to be uploaded by Saturday morning. So now, like I said, I just have not been feeling like myself lately. Honestly, I've been feeling like shit. Like I have just been feeling so bad. I feel like I am going through it. I'm having like an identity crisis and just like imposter syndrome is whooping my ass every other day. I just feel like, what am I doing here? What is going on? I don't know. I'm just waking up and doing shit at this point. I feel like I have been avoiding talking about it, but I just recently went through a breakup <laughs> and I will say that much. I have wanted to make a video about it so bad, um, but it's just been so hard for me to make a video about it. Like, I just don't even know like really what to say. I want to talk about it, but it's just like, I don't know what to say. So. I'm just kind of, we're, we're gonna just get ourselves together. That's what we're trying to do right now. Just maybe take our mind off of all of the BS and just get ourselves together. Okay, so I'm all packed up, managed to fit everything inside of the book bag. And I think, honestly, I'm just gonna wear these dunks with my outfit. Like I said, I'm gonna throw this hoodie on that I got from Taylor. And I'm gonna just keep these sweatpants on. We gonna roll out of the bed and we on our way. So I will see y'all when I wake up in the morning, I guess. Have a good day, be safe. I'm at the airport, and honestly, I am so confused right now. I think I just go straight to TSA, because I believe I already pre-checked into my Light, and I have like my boarding pass and everything and I'm not adding any bags so okay y'all so I made it through TSA and it's only 546 and my flight doesn't board until 8 20, I think, but I'm about to look for something to eat real fast. I just walked past the Dunkin', but I want to find like where I'm going to actually be boarding the plane at because, like I said, I have not been here in a long time. I just want to make sure I'm not lost or confused. Okay. 
6.07, I just grabbed some Chick-fil-A. Got a little bacon, egg, and ooh, bacon, egg, and cheese on a biscuit and some hash browns. So I'm about to just probably sit here. Honestly, at first I thought that it was gonna take me like forever to get through TSA, but they actually moved TSA pretty quick even though the line was long. Cause it's only 6.08 and my flight don't board until 8.42. get out of this airport. Hello, how are you? I'm so sorry for the confusion. I'm about to go check into the hotel just to get my keys and see what like my room and stuff is given. And then I'm gonna go to the appointment. My appointment not until 12, I mean 1.40. It, it really three o'clock, but I guess they tried to push it up to 1.40 or whatever. So I'm like, well, I'll just come like literally soon as I get there, you know what I'm saying? But everything is all on the same block. It's like right up the street. I know I said I wasn't gonna see y'all again until Friday, but I just wanted to come back on here and say I don't want y'all getting veneers. This is this this is for anybody who's like, ooh, like I wanna get veneers or something like that. I probably should have waited until tomorrow when my mouth wasn't numb to like say <laughs> <laughs> to like try to be like a motivational speaker but no like i feel like getting veneers like especially in my case because like my teeth were not bad at all like go to braces route get the invisalign do anything but get the veneers unless you really 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 needed to i feel like me personally i was just so insecure like when i was younger because i got my veneers literally for my 20th birthday and i was already thinking about getting them at 19 like why the fuck are you getting veneers at 19 <laughs> like crazy but no i just wanted to tell y'all that if you are thinking about getting veneers or anything you are beautiful the way that you are keep your natural teeth because it's better than any veneer don't be like me so i make the mistakes first so that way y'all don't have to make the mistakes okay so just listen to me when i say don't go get your damn teeth done because it's an endless view. And actually, it came, the price came down because I thought it was going to be $7,900, but I ended up only having to pay $6,600 because I had to put a $500 deposit and then I paid $6,200 today when I got there. But it's just an endless view and it's like something that you got to stay on top of and make sure you take care of and it's just like, it's, it's expensive. So stop getting them goddamn veneers especially them goddamn composite veneers because they don't last none any fucking way y'all so today is officially the day that i'm getting these temporary teeth taken off it's like seven o'clock right now my appointment is at eight but i'm kind of like already up and ready just got on this tank top i mean t-shirt black sweats again but it's crazy because yesterday they tried to change my appointment because my appointment was supposed to be at nine o'clock and they called me yesterday like oh we want to confirm your appointment for 1 30 but i'm like um my appointment is scheduled for nine so then they're like oh well let me call you back then they're like oh well you got to come in at one they call me back they're like you got to come in at one and then they called me back again and told me to come in at eight so we about to really just be at the airport for the rest of the day because after i leave the dentist i'm just gonna go straight to the airport and sit in there and edit this video and these tiktoks but i'm like low-key so fucking bored i'm ready to go home i'm so excited to see like what my real teeth are gonna look like because when they take when they make the temporary teeth 
they literally just take an impression of your teeth your original teeth or whatever they take your impression as soon as you come in there so they can use that impression to make the temporary teeth i kind of got a list right now but like these teeth are not good like it's chipped in the print everything and everybody was like gagging yeah, like oh my god they look so good they look so good and i'm just lying. like child these is not even a real one it's like the whole time my real teeth look like this before so where y'all been at talking about they look so good these is literally my exact same teeth that i walked into the dentist with hey nowadays the pain follow me deal with trauma privately i don't want to be a burden i handle things defiantly spent a decade searching for a higher power god in me figured out that faith is not up there that it's inside of me act with execution what's the plan with zero action faced with bad habits knowing it's a magnet to my imbalance i'm somewhere between confidence and arrogance the middle ground is treacherous i work on getting out of it pops is looking down i feel him every time the sun shines back to being unsigned i only got my bloodline with me going forward smoking cookie till we dumb high i heard you taking shots we pulled up on them they was gun shy 2 p.m in rome we at the chapel eating sun dried tomatoes and a plum wine life been like a movie y'all know how long the run time hope it's an extended cut but when i die that blow my consciousness onto a thumb drive yeah. and i'm loaded to the masses when i'm past okay uh, so i just got to the airport i'm sitting in this restaurant right now um well, I didn't just get here, but I just stay on the restaurant to sit in because I got here and I tried to go to the gate, but I was showing them the gate that was on my ticket coming to Miami and not leaving Miami. So I actually don't know what gate I'm going to be at leaving Miami. So it's 11.28 right now. I'm going to have to just sit here until the gate shows up and then I'll go wait where the plane is going to be picking me up from. But my mouth is still a little bit numb, but I'm just like, so happy because I just feel like these teeth like they just look so real like these look like i came out like this only thing is they are so sensitive like even just me talking and like the air coming in my mouth from me talking it hurts so much but i'm still just satisfied they say that the sensitivity should go away in about like a couple days or so maybe tomorrow i'll sleep it off hopefully